I know how to question. This is not popular, nor am I popular. I do not know how to make small talk about the game or the weather. Instead, I know how to dig. I dig for weight. I dig for the unknown. I dig for the challenge and in order to find things to trust, things to hold on to in order to move towards love. Every place is a place to dig, but right now I dig into my past, into my memory, and I dig through questions and play. I question the irrational in order to see its rationality. I know my instinct, imagination, dogs, and seriousness. I know how to hesitate, wander, and make messes. So this piece I, I did uh, during my, my first undergrad degree and um, it's got a list of characters. Um, basically the characters on the left, they're just made of clay and they're putting themselves together. So a lot of these, they relate to philosophical ideas I have uh, just about how we, how we exist. And so they're, uh, they're making changes to themselves. They're flexible. They're building themselves. So because they're made out of clay, they can just kind of keep on manipulating and forming themselves. And, and that's who they are. Um, the guy in the middle, he's, he's, he's not there yet. He's completely embarrassed. Uh, he's basically got this, this trench coat that covers him completely. Um, and he's just trying to, to hide himself. And then the characters on the right, they just, um, they're just watching the scene. They're, they're, they're spectators. And, um, they're not prepared to, to kind of enter into that field, so they sit back. All right, this piece is done in the style of Robert Crumb, uh, at least inspired by him. And it's basically this kind of almost like a nightmare realm, but in a cartoony way. Um, so it's tough to take it seriously. Um, but at the same time, there's a kind of an angsty character down in the bottom right, and that's, that's a self-portrait. And then the rust is just... Um, basically a place where anything can happen. Great. Uh, this piece up here, um, it just started out more as an abstract painting and I got the idea of, of painting my, my grandfather at a particular moment when he was uh, uh, kind of entering stages of dementia. And uh, with, within this piece, uh, I, didn't, I wasn't forming him per se. Uh, he would kind of form and then break apart, but it was basically a scene where he's um, kind of manipulating a bed sheet um, and this is based on a, a true story where I was standing in front of him and he didn't know I was there and he was just continually manipulating this bed sheet um, kind of messing it up and then putting it back together um, and uh, it was an important moment because there's, there are confusing things uh, in the world that I want to respond to I, I, I'm drawn to those things where you're where you're confused. Um, I think it's important to, to go close to those and to kind of stand in that realm and, um, and feel what that's, what that's like. I think that that informs how we, how we live. So that's why I, I wanted to paint this.